Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft news episode. And today we are going I'm going to be showing you my level one playthrough. This is one of the entire series. Um Yeah, let's just get into it. Twenty-one minutes first part. Uh, we're gonna be going through it until the very final boss. As you can see I'm fighting the grafted scion. Uh as expected I I, I lose. Um I've, I've beat him before, but he, right now I lost. If I had a shield, maybe I'd be able to parry. As you can see, I started at a red, as a red because that's the only level one character that you can be. Um, but there we go. Just, uh, I died, so now I'm going to be, you know, exploring the world and slowly going and getting each entire, um, not each, and not every single one, but, uh, a lot of the golden seeds and sacred tears that I can get at this current moment. I keep on, uh, running. I run past the tree since well, if I fought him, I think I'd die with him a few times. Um, you know, I talk to Callie, Calais, yeah. um, I get, I get the, uh, things. I get his, uh, crafting books and other stuff. I thought it was a small shield. It's easy to small with, uh, pair it with small shields and stuff like that. So I, see, I, I almost died to this soldier of Godger. I'm able to get a few parries in. It takes like two parries to kill him. I backstab this guy and then I, uh, you know, kill him. And then, <laughs> there we go. I die because I think I can bury him, and I figure out the perfect time to bury. Now I have, not right now. As you can see, I'm able to get him pretty quick. I use the, I forgot, uh, Barbarians, uh, some, I don't know, the, the Ashivore on the, uh, club, I forgot what it was. As you can see, I got my parry down, I got the parry down, it's pretty easy. I'm going over to get the Maiden. I'm going over to get Mal uh, Melina. Mal Melania? No, Melania is not that. Melina, yeah. Get the Steed Whistle. And as you can see, I start heading past the gate front ruins. I get the map because the map just really helps. I get the Flail. I don't know why I grabbed the Flail. I think I thought I was going to be able to level up. I really was not able to level up. But, um, I talked to Bach. I never complete his, uh, quest line. Because Bach is kind of, uh, not exactly a thing that I need. I get determination, in which I will use that with a weapon I have later. I don't fight Knight's Calvary. I, you know, I use the Golden Rune. And then I go and get my first Golden Seed. Which is from killing Lord Height. I I quickly am able to kill him. He gets out his Earth Steel Dagger, but it's pretty easy. I, I kill him and I get my first golden seed. So yeah. Pretty easy. Uh I'm not gonna talk about that because I I, uh, dying twice to that same fall, and I guess I just thought it'd be easier to uh, not do that, so as you can see, I do that. I mark where I'm going, I go and get the map, which originally I thought it was going to be right next to the rune bears, and I do not like rune bears. Um, but yeah, here we go. I'm going through here. Go get the Flask of Wonders physic. And, yeah, here we go. Uh, as you can see, um, I go there because I know I want to get um, Golden Seed out there because, yeah, it just is kind of something good. I end up at the end of this episode with like. Uh, flask plus three or two or three, 
and I also have a six flasks, which means I I already am pretty set for the for the rest. In my opinion, I think ten flask and plus six is kind of the max you want. End of the game. So I'm uh, running through here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I ran past the... I think I thought I could fight the dragon. I don't know what I was doing. So, yeah. Gosh, the sped-up version of dragon music is kind of kind of creepy. I died to the featured avatar, in which I, I mastered the, the way it moves, but honestly, this time, I, I guess I just... Level one. Week. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, he tries to get me with the holy attacks, but as you know, I, 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 as I know, I'm pretty much completely fine against that. I don't know why I go and fight and ray roll. Or maybe I didn't. Or maybe I, I don't know what I was doing. But yeah. I go over there to get the left half of the Dectus Medallion, and also to go get Eradagon's Sword Seal. It's pretty important, seeing as it's one of the only, one of the three, what, three or four ways of the uh, Altus Plateau. So as you can see, I grab Eradagon's Sword Seal. I want to die here. I don't know why I didn't want to die. I got that golden room for some reason. I have no clue why I'm saving the golden rooms, but yeah. I guess I am. Also, I don't know what I'm doing here. I forgot what I, what my plan was. Oh, yeah. I was going to use the flail. The flail was kind of my main weapon because it also caused blood loss. Yeah. Oh, blood loss buildup. I hit the dragon because I was stuck on his wing. I don't know why I did. Um, but yeah, here we go, running through here. I don't summon a real person once throughout this entire thing. In fact, I can't summon a real person once throughout this entire thing. Unless I use a special code. Or a thing. I'll be honest, the hardest boss throughout this entire thing is definitely riding on. Also, my rules... Forgot it. Uh, my rules for this run is that... I have to beat the game. That doesn't mean I have to kill every Remembrance boss. That just means I have to beat the game, pretty much. Uh, we're already a third of the way done, a little bit more than that. But, um, as you can see, my main idea here was to get the Dex. The Dex Therapy, uh, Talon. I could, um gone through her entire quest line, uh, I forgot, um, yeah, I could have gone through, um, all of her quest line, I did not, I didn't really want to fight the three sisters, because I didn't know how that'd go, because I have this amount of health, and pretty much, well, pretty much the amount of health that I have right now, throughout the entire game, at the end of the game, I, you know, there's, a uh, Erd Tree's favorite plus two, and also, there's, um, the Crimson Talisman plus two, which really improved the way I was going to fight to me. I also used the, uh, I forgot, um, Fence Talisman, just because I knew it would help. This level 1 playthrough was really hard, but I think the next one I'm going to do is a shield only run. As you can see, my next goal is ne uh, not Neo, um, O'Neal, Commander O'Neal. Mainly because I wanted to get the um, but I also thought the commander is standard, just in case I wanted to do more damage. It really just depended on how, if I wanted to do it, but I'll be quiet throughout this entire fight.
just remembered. This fight actually takes a while. Mainly because I didn't have... Or, um, mainly because one of his summons just came around the corner and started hitting me with his axe. But I also, I think I almost got Scarlet Rot in this fight. I don't remember that. Uh... I can't remember if this man is immune to Scarlet Rot or not. I'm pretty sure he is. I might have to just look that up. I think the third run of this game I'm gonna do is only legendary armaments. And that's gonna be pretty hard, because I also want to do all remembrance bosses on that one. My so, difficult. As you can see, I'm halfway through O'Neill, and he is taking the is one of the cheeses. You can also grab a bow if you want. Personally, I didn't do that because I just didn't want to do that. Because. But he summoned more summons out there, and I don't know why. Or I think he did the summons out there. I don't know. Yeah, we, uh, we have him. We had him pretty far down. going through here, and as you can see, he's almost down, but I get stuck on that tree, which causes him to be able to run around the side, which honestly kind of makes it not the best. So the, so the geyser's there, and he has his summon out and protecting him, so I have to... I was seeing if I could reset him. Then his summon dies, and I, you know, at that point, I knew I could just finish him off with geysers. Except I lost him. I lost O'Neill, and I have no clue where he went. So I check, and yep, sure enough, he teleported back there. As you can see, he's uh, he's making his way over here, and then I have the tree. Uh, Forgot um, uh, how would tree soldier? Um, clean rot knight showed up behind me and decides to uh, hit me with a uh, with a few golden rings, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it's fine. We're almost half. We're we're almost two thirds of the way through. I would say we're more than half way through this, which is nice. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he's almost done, and he's really close to being dead, and then after this, I go and fight Marty, I think it takes me two tries to beat him, which is, uh, which is a little bit, uh, not, not good, I probably could have beat him on the first try, but no, I Uh, the Clean Art Knight's there, and I just want the Clean Art Knight to die, because honestly, like, yeah, there we go. So luckily, it died, and now I have a fair shot at O'Neill. Uh, I knew this was going to be quite a hard thing to do. But, uh, here we go. I didn't think it was going to be that hard, though. So honestly, I expected less than what happened. I expected him to stay still, but now we are two-thirds of the way through. Well, actually, not exactly. But, uh, I'd say we're pretty. So, now we're two thirds of the way. Right now. Oh, there we go. Here we go. And I have him in the loop again. And I'm able to get him. That one little downtime thing was kind of annoying, if I'm being honest. If I died during this, I probably would have cried. I think I almost died right here. I don't remember, but I, I think I did. Not died, but almost. Alright, here we go. And he is almost dead. One more, and he... Oh, wow. And he is officially down. It only took me one try, so I'm lucky with that. But yeah, here we go. I go back 
you know, of course I gotta get the dexterity talisman, but I also get the strength talisman. I don't know why. In fact, I don't even think I use it partway through, which is pretty funny. I use the club to kill Margit, and then I take out a good old trusty lance. It's a lance, if you didn't know, is actually pretty insane as a weapon. Well, I mean, it, it's pretty balanced, but honestly, you can roll catch with it so easily. It's similar to the length of Melania, or the hand of Melania. Like, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty fair, but honestly, it really helps. As you can see, I talked to Gallery because that's my one way to get stuff. I was scared Gallery was gonna die and turn into the little pest he was, or whatever it was. Rot, a uh, rot pest or whatever. Kindred of rot, yeah. As you can see, I'm going through this uh, thing. I think I actually try and do something. Sit down. The side of graves. I go. Uh, I give her the needle, or no, I, not. I actually have to go back down, I forgot how this quest worked. It's just a whole lot of running back and forth, which I wish it was not that. Yeah. So I have this, and I'm able to teleport. No, I do not. I guess I just decided that I wasn't going to teleport. But yeah, here we go. I give her the needle, and... Yeah, there we go. She she falls asleep. Back up, has a hair tie, and I get the dexterity. Not, not, not. Wait, what was it dexterity? Yeah, uh, uh, dexterity talisman. I forgot what it was called. Uh, pretty good so far. Almost 20 minutes in. Here we go. We only have four more minutes, and I think it's a four-minute fight through Margus. Which honestly, I'm being honest. here we go, going up there. I'm about to, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I use a lot of stone sword keys throughout this entire playthrough. I'm already almost halfway through the shield playthrough at this point in time. But yeah, here we go. minutes into this and honestly this was a little fight all right Margaret here we go took two tries and yeah, let's, let's quickly uh, use I haven't gone to the gate yet uh, I don't remember I I'm in Roger because Roger multi class multi he's pretty much a tank yeah as you can see, I go through the thing, and here we go. I'm running up. Margaret's right here. I use a few charge attacks to get him. Here we go. I forgot that the barbarians roar. What? Barbaric war. Yeah, roar. I forgot that it makes you like have different attacks. As you can see, I, I get him, and I'm able to smack him. Smack him in the, in the booty. But yeah, as we go through here, there we go. And, yep, yeah, he's, all, I think, yep, second phase now. He's almost 50% down and then I, yep there we go 50 percent down right about here and there we go it's like pretty close to that. at the point where i reach his second phase that's the point where you have to start focusing on his early attacks and the bad thing about this thing is that i have no protection i have zero percent protection so if i get hit i get hit hard and i mean that i mean really really hard you can see I get the repost there. If, I think if I had a good shield, I would be able to easily parry him. 
and honestly, here we go. Let's go. We're almost through here. I took a lot of damage, and this part started to scare me. Raju died. I took damage. He's using more holy attacks because he's this far down. He does that. I'm halfway down. I only have like two more healing flasks left. So I'm rolling around. One minute left. Actually, yep. Let's go. One minute left of this video. And here we go. At this point, I hit him and I knew I would break his stance there. And here we go. Margus the Fell Omen has died. He is officially down. And here we go. As you can see, I do a good old wave to him. A wave goodbye. Because he died. Um... But yeah, <clears throat> this was a pretty fun playthrough, not entire playthrough, but yeah, pretty close. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more of this. And yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, honestly, we're, uh, there's going to be way more challenges, if I'm being honest. One last time, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.